morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm your host, Big Bubba. Along with me today is my co-host and cohort, Joey. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing all right. What do you think of this weather? It's nice weather now, huh? Heat's turned yeah. down. It's been nice, crisp fall weather. Just a reminder to all our folks out there that uh, our kids have gone back to school. So watch out for your school buses and children walking and what have you. And one thing I didn't mention last show, our other co-host, Emily, got her learner's permit. So <laughs> be especially aware of young females driving. <laughs> Hope she does well with that. She will. She, she's a good kid. She's conscientious of, of what's going on. So what do you think? What's been going on here, Joe? <laughs> you, you don't know? You've been watching. You've been Watch. watching wrestling, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Let me start off with that. I usually do always start off with, with the birthdays and what have you. Before I go into that, independent shows. I went to a couple of independent shows. First one I'll mention, I think I mentioned last show, was the RWA. Over 500 people at that show. I confirmed that with T. Phoenix, who's the, the promoter. 500 people at the show they had in Johnston. They're coming up, I'll lay the, the rosaries, look, go on rwawrestling.com. You'll get a date for that one. I know it's coming up this month. I will be at that show sitting ringside like I always do. My good friend Corey. And another show I went to was the pro wrestling show, they're calling it. It was a good time. For a reason they called it that. Teddy Goods, a local independent wrestler who appeared on SmackDown. It was his last night wrestling in Brockton here in, locally. One of the best independent wrestlers in this area. I know he just re he got married, his wife's pregnant. He wants to spend more time, I guess, with his family. He's not going to be wrestling as much. He has a few more matches coming up, but looking forward to it. speaking to them. They have matches coming up in the Bridgewater VFW, I believe, l later on this month, too. That's going to be a great card. Uh, the, uh, Fondango is going to be there. Fondango. <laughs> And the Godfather is supposed to be making an appearance in that show. Well, there's, there's, there's something else, but I forget who the other person was. <laughs> good, looks like it's going to be a good card, even just to see those people. Well, Joe, I know I, I often rely on you when you, you have a great list of our birthdays. <coughs> Let's go into some of our birthdays, if, if you might. And before we do the list, we mentioned four. That's, yes. Well, two that did come up and two there next week. Okay. Uh, one is Brian Parday's son's birthday. Okay. Uh, uh, the fifth. Uh, B squared. Yeah, and we know someone else chooses the fifth. Yes. Jeff's. Nope. No. The J though. Oh. Oh, Jay's. No, J. my f a roommate of mine that passed. Oh, oh yeah, John's. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I try. I, I forget that. I don't know why. Yeah, him and B three share the same debt birthday. Yeah, John would have been fifty one. Fifty one. Poor oh, John. I think of John a lot, especially over the summer. He, my, my, my girlfriend just went to a concert, in New Hampshire. And I guess one of the singers used to be on Journey because John loved Journey. <clears throat> was in the show with uh, Brett Michaels, who was up there with her sisters. I'll mention more about that after. Uh, next week, the guy that used to sit in this seat I'm in, Jeff. Jeff, yeah, the, the, the tenth. Yeah, the tenth. The tenth. And I think he's going to be sixty. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's going to be sixty. Yes. And the other one is sitting right here. <laughs> okay. Me. <laughs> what day is that, Joe? Mine's the twelfth. Oh, the 12th, September 12th, Joey. I, I didn't know that. If I knew about that, I'd, I'd have brought you a cake. But Steve got to it first. Name. Where are you going to be, Joe? How old are you going to be now? 54. 54, you old. Yeah, your hundred is about 29, 30. Am I right? Probably. If you even wear underwear. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'd be about 30. So that's probably right for you. Well, I wish all those people would not wrestle as happy birthday, especially the intimidated Jeff, who I happened to see today, my, by chance. Well, three were in backyard wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first off, Booker T's brother, Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray. August 22nd, 66. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The current WWE World Champion, Gunther. Gunther. Walter. August 20th, 37. He looks in great condition for 37. Um, Ivan Koloff. Uh, the, the late Russian bear. August 25th. Former uh, world champion. F uh, former, I think I don't know, he's former chairman of the WWE. Vince McMahon. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. August 24th. Isn't he meant to be 77, right? 79. 79, wow, he's that old. Yep. Uh, Eve Torres. Eve Torres, yeah, a good wrestler. August 21st, 40. I can't believe Eve Torres is 40. The Sergeant Slot, Sergeant Slot. Who I've met a couple of times. August 27th, 76. Robert Remus, 76, the Sergeant 76. Remember back in high school when he started wrestling? <laughs> I was in high school, in junior high school. Talk about Sergeant Slaughter. When he first came into WWE back in 75. <laughs> wow. He's wrestling for almost 40 years now. <laughs> Speaking of wrestling, uh, I think I saw something on Facebook. I guess Tito and Greg Valentine were wrestling in somewhere. Tito and Greg Valentine, who, who both people I've met, I've met. I think it's somewhere in Ohio. There's a wrestling, a wrestling said, show in Ohio. I, I, I've met Greg Valentine. Just met Greg Valentine when I met with, with Kevin Sullivan on a WWE event in, in one socket. Very nice, very soft spoken man. One of the most underrated wrestlers. Greg Valentine is one of the most underrated wrestlers, I think, in WWE history. Very good wrestler, good worker, worked well with his opponent all the time. Knew, played his character very well, but he was he a guy that would go into a match. Excellent. One of the, one of the nicer men I've met, too. Very, first, very soft-spoken nice when I talked to him. And, of course, Tito Santana, who recently had a birthday. Mercedes must have said about a month or so, about six weeks ago. He had a birthday, I believe. Uh, former WWE Women's Champ, Jazz. Jazz. I remember Jazz. August 27th, 51. Wow, 50s already. 51. The Rock's father, Rocky Johnson. Ah, the late great Rocky Johnson. August 24th. Stan Hansen. Stan the Larry and Hansen, the man who broke Bruno San Martino's <laughs> neck with a clothesline. August 29th, 75. Yeah, I can't believe Stan Hansen's already 75. The bad man from Borga, <laughs> Texas. There's a reference for you, a little bit of a history lesson. Smackdown GM's wife, Mickey James. Mickey James. August 31st, 45. 45. I heard rumors she's trying to make a comeback to wrestling and she wants to come back to WWE and work with her husband. I could see her as a, maybe as an assistant. I can't see her really <laughs> wrestling right now. She's been out of wrestling for about a year or two now. Hello. Right online. Uh, I'm not gonna say cause it, say the word because I know you, what you're gonna say. <laughs> Lashley. <laughs> He's an AEW, I think now. He is Bobby Lashley. I think he, a, AEW or TNA, one of the two. Uh, Bam Bam Bigelow, September first. Scott Bam Bam Bigelow, a man who I think belongs in the Hall of Fame. Well, with always the positive, wish all the folks out there a happy birthday. We gotta get to the negative. Before we go into our list, I wanna, on a personal note, uh, my girlfriend's uncle and cousin, who I don't have either of their names, I'm sorry, passed away last weekend. My condolences to the uh, Javi family, the law passing of their uncle and their cousin. Anybody else, Joe, you wanna mention? Me personally, no. <laughs> All I got was on my list here. Uh, this guy went under. Get the tribute view. They actually mentioned all three names he went under. Okay. Yes. In WCW he was Sid, Sid Vicious. Vicious. WWE he was Sid Justice. Justice. And then Psycho Sid. Psycho Sid. Sid Udy. E U D I. E U D Y. His son actually appeared on. Uh, Big Brother, did, did you know that? No. Frankie, yes. Uh, he is back, I think about 10 years back. No, another comp beast. Uh, he was just in the area, not even a month ago. Sid, Sid Udy was, because a friend of mine, Damon Farah, saw him live. It was a nice picture with him on WrestlingForum.com and on Facebook I saw with him. A nice picture with him. 
Literally saw him not even five weeks ago, about a week two before he passed away, he saw him. And actor singer James Darren. Wow. Yeah. He, he did the uh, he did the time tunnel. He mm -hmm. worked with Captain Kirk in the TV show TJ Hooker. Okay. I remember the name. I could picture the man. Like a mullet hairdo, brownish hair, mullet hairdo. That's it for that. Well, <laughs> my condolences for all those people who passed away. The one that's going to, of course, affect us a lot, and it was, was mentioned on wrestling, was Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, the, the late great Sid Yudi. Hope he rests in peace. From when I was told by my friend Damon, he was very soft-spoken, the guy, again, in person. On the, he always used to yell and scream during his wrestling promo. That was his style. Oh, that was yeah. his thing. That's the way he... He did things. It's sad. There's another actor who passed away too a couple days ago. And I've got it down. Gilliard. Doesn't like that. He was a. He was an actor that was around for years. Yeah. It was on. It was on Facebook, but I didn't get his, his full name down. G U I, G U I L L A R D. I'm not sure. Bill Gilliard. I think his name was. I also heard about another wrestler, someone I'm not familiar with, but I guess he was part of the WWE's early days, I think back in the 1970s, maybe late 60s, early 70s. Okay. WWE, the uh, Triple WF days. Guy named, was it Sonny King? Sonny King, yes, I remember Sonny King. Had uh, a colored man with glasses. Colored. He was a good worker. Good wrestler, wasn't a bad wrestler. I remember him in my younger days, he was good. The picture they showed was a white guy. <laughs> okay, well maybe he had a big tan. I don't know. Just <laughs> was like King had a dude. Anybody else you can think of? No, no, well, that I could. No, that's really about it. I mean, another thing that's dying right now is the Red Sox season. <laughs> um, I don't think they're gonna make the playoffs there. I think they're five and a half to uh, six games out of the wild card right now. They're just not playing good baseball since the All Star game. I think they're done. They've won like. Two of the last six games, important games. We're just not, not winning. We're not playing well. Get ready for football. Football season starting. I know you got your football stuff ready. You're not wearing it, but, you, but you're getting ready. It's been an interesting wrestling, uh, football season. Celtics World Champions. They, they're actually picked to repeat, according to all the specialists. Just to say they're definitely the team to beat again in the NBA. Because they, they lost a couple of players, a couple of bench players, but they picked up a couple of even stronger players, I think, to, to fill some of those voids. So, team to keep an eye on. And the Bruins, they had a uh, rookie goaltender that I guess they just lost. He had signed a couple of years ago with them, and uh, he was signed away from He's going to a small hockey league and... And they haven't signed Jeremy Swayman yet, because I don't know if you watch hockey at all. But he's a guy they're looking to re-sign. He's still looking for his, his contract. It, it, they'll sign him back. They have to. He's, he's, he's one of the best goaltenders, I think, in hockey. One of those underrated players in hockey right now. Jeremy Swayman. Well, I know we just had, Joe, a pay-per-view. We gave mm -hmm. our picks for our last show. Let's go over some of the results and talk up a little bit about some of the matches, if we can. <laughs> what happened at the end of this first match surprised me. Uh, the world title, Gunther versus Randy Orton, and Gunther won. With yes, and they shook hands after, which was shocking. Yeah. With, with Gunther showed respect to Randy Orton doing that. Yeah. That was, it, they know they put the clinic on, they, they put a good match on. Uh... Let's see, WWE title, Cody versus Kevin Owens. Cody, Cody versus Owens. Kevin Owens, which started the whole show off. That I think that might have been the match of the night, too. Those two guys <laughs> went back and forth, back and forth for a good 20 minutes, and they put on a clinic. And, of course, the end of the match, shook hands and hug. I'm, I mean, they are friendly. A lot of people thought Kevin Owens was going to turn on Cody. He never, he never did. A few times he had a chance to pull a trick up, but he never did. Nope, a couple times. <laughs> Held up because of his friendship. He wouldn't powerbomb on the apron like he's done to other people. He didn't, he didn't want to risk it. He didn't want to hurt him. He didn't want to be in the match in the first place. Nope. 
next we got the mixed tag match. Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley against Dum 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 Dominic and Lynn Morgan. And the what they call the Terra Twins yeah. won it. Yeah, beat over the uh <laughs> Dum Dum and Viv there. Judgment? That was probably the worst match of the night. <laughs> that that match was a little disappointing. It was okay, but it Liv didn't work well with Rhea in that match at all, I don't think. I think she was kind of kind of stunk actually. Judgment Day tried to help, but that didn't work. Nope. <laughs> uh, next is the strap match. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre and Punk won. That was a good match. He finally got the bracelet back, but it got destroyed got Monday night. Yes, we saw that when, when Drew McIntyre... And and shoved it down his throat. Yeah, it broke it up and shoved it down his throat and then punched <laughs> him in the face. And tacked it, and he also attacked him when he was just at the ambulance, just about going to the ambulance and they attacked him there. Mm-hmm. And last... That was a good match, too. The strap match was back and forth, back and forth. Uh, finally... The women's tag titles, Elba Fire and Isla Dawn against Bianca Belair and Jay Cargo. And Bianca Belair and Cargo uh, won their title back, I know that. Became two-time champs. That was a pretty decent match, Elba Fire and, and Alba Dawn put, uh, yeah. Fire and Dawn put on a, a really good match against those two. I mean, two of the toughest women, I think, in wrestling right now, those two ladies right there. Well, I kind of mentioned to you on the way down, I read it on my phone. I was a little shocked at this, but I read it on my phone and confirmed it by going to his, actually Googling his name, Odyssey Jones, who made a big splash about, about a month or so ago, coming back with the New Day, helping the New Day, has been terminated by the WWE, I guess, for a domestic, domestic squad. Well, I don't know, they didn't really give a big story about it, but he's no longer on the contract. They fired him, released him outright, which is sad because he was a, Really good worker. Look like he'd be strong. With good character going there. Kind of revived the whole three, three man new day thing, and now it's not going to happen. I think what's his name was getting ready to attack him. I think Woods was getting was getting ready to go against Kofi. <laughs> That's I think that was going to happen. Now they're going to have to rewrite that whole thing because Austin Jones is not in the picture anymore. Hasn't been written to the show, and they didn't really say why. Nothing. Right online, just just a uh, domestic dispute, and he's no longer working for the, working for the WWE. What else? Our next pay per view. Have you gotten any information down? Uh, I'm not sure. The way I see it, it might be new. Uh, bad blood, maybe. So probably the next one. But they haven't said anything about September or anything. Yeah, I think CM Punk and, and McIntyre will have another match. That's he wanted to let that go. Punk did, but McIntyre's like, "I'm not done yet." I think they have to keep that going. Um, what does? Did you see who, who challenged Gunther? Oh uh, yeah, his old opponent for the IC title once. Yes. The guy that Sammy beat him for the IC title. Yes. <laughs> that could be an interesting match again. I don't see Sammy winning that match. I really don't. But I think it, it could be a good match because Sammy always puts on a good show. Real good wrestling match. I, I think they're really giving them a good push to Gunther. Well-deserved. Um, I see LA Knight could be wrestling with somebody. I'm not sure who. Um, I'd like to see... Uh, uh, Andrade against LA Knight to be a good match, I think. Be a real good match. Right now, he's busy with this battle with Carmelo Hayes right now. Yeah. Both <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Raw and SmackDown have. Well, Raw's got. Now, this past Monday night, it's got Wade Barrett and a new guy. Yeah, he was on Holy Moly as one of the announcers. Joe Cass. Cass, Cass the Tony or something like that. He didn't do too bad Monday night. He was all right doing commentary. I like Wade Barrett with him. I don't know what could be up with, with, with Pat McAfee when Pat McAfee comes back. Hopefully, <laughs> who knows where they're going to put him. But, well, since we just kind of opened up the door for a lot of things happening in wrestling in the next, next couple weeks, a little change of what places to watch them. So I'll let you explain some of that. Do 
Well, no. I know, well, I know NXT is going to, going to the CW. Going to the CW as of October 1st. Uh, next Friday, SmackDown is going to be starting on back on the USA network. Yes, a week from Friday. Just coming. F- Actually, yesterday's <laughs> showing of uh, on Fox will be the last showing. Yeah. I say that because I know if you folks who mentioned before, we did a couple of days in advance here, so the last showing of, of uh, SmackDown on Fox will be this, will have been last night, yesterday. And for now, Raw is staying on the USA channel, but in January, they're moving to Netflix. So that's all going to be moving around to see WWF wrestling. You, of course, you, you get TNA on Thursdays if you want to watch TNA and... Um, yes, the a- a- AEW. A lot of TNA wrestlers have been coming to WWE wrestling. A couple of them went to NXT. Uh, Jordan Grace, uh, Joe Hendry. Do you sing the song at all? You don't want, you know, probably don't know what NXT is. You don't know, you don't believe in Joe Hendry, huh? Uh, I've only seen the commercials for it. That's all I know. <laughs> I know, I know. He, he he won't admit it, but I know our director sings that song all the time to he sees NXT. <laughs> Is that right? Is that the right director? No, he's he's ignoring me. He's usual. He, he doesn't sing I Believe in Joe Henry either. I do. <laughs> it goes on. He's a good Scottish wrestler. Um, oh, another people we can mention, the White Six had a match. They, they, they look pretty good together. Oh, I didn't mention that. Uncle Howdy had his first Uncle, match. Uncle Howdy had his first match. Against Chad Gable. And, yep. And, Uncle Howdy won his first match. Yep, even though the other, even though his, his, his brother got involved, how come the uh, Wyatt Six to take care of them outside? Yeah. Only per, the only person who wasn't there? Mickey. Nikki Cross was oh, not there. Oh, yeah. He didn't go against Ivy. Ivy Niles. But she appeared there this past week, though. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. There's been some decent storylines with that. NXT, I know, was uh, Lopez, there, the, the champion, is, is becoming against uh, uh, Julia, the new girl that they just signed. A lot of people are challenging, uh, challenging her. What's her name was on um, NXT last night? Chelsea Green, I think, was getting ready to challenge her, and how <laughs> come Julia? <laughs> Totally dropped Chelsea Green <laughs> to get out of the way. Roxanne Perez is doing very, very well. Very, very well. She had a good match against, uh, uh, what's the other girl's name? I, 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 I don't know. I think I'm getting Alzheimer's on <laughs> my mind. His names, I keep all these names and things straight in my head. Um, Like I mentioned, Pro Wrestling has a show coming up, I believe it's next month. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's later on this month, I believe, in uh, Bridgewater VFW. Look on that, look online for that. If you can see on Facebook, they've been advertising on Facebook. A lot of people going to that to the big, like I said. Uh, one of the last appearances for Teddy Goods, for the company. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I hope to bring my friend, Corey. My friend Corey just had a very successful operation too. He had an operation for his intestines. Hmm. He was out of commission for about eight days in the hospital in Boston. He's home now, convalescing. I, I hope to bring Corey on this show one of these days as a guest. He's a kid who probably knows more, more about independent wrestling than I do. <laughs> now he know he know he's he was going to the chop shop for years in wrestling. He watches all the wrestling, everything. He has different shows, he watches different things he taps into. Like I said, we've watched, uh, we've we've discussed Joe over the last few shows about different people who belong in the in the Hall of Fame, different people mm-hmm. with it. Who would you like to see if you had to pick? If you, I don't know how much you watch TNA, who would you like to see maybe come back to WWE? Now there's rumors spreading that that uh, uh, Jack Hager is coming back. Oh, he, oh, he was, Swagger. Jack Swagger. He, he's been released. By AEW that didn't resign him. I heard about. I don't know if it was a, 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 AEW or TNA was letting people go, or, or they were, they were, or they were leaving. Yeah, a lot of people in a, a few people in AEW are leaving. 
They don't want to wrestle for them anymore. They're realizing they're getting lost in the shuffle over there. But, I mean, there's a lot of people that were w in WWE who, who went over there. I mean, we don't see Keith Lee wrestle too much. I know he was hurt. He did make a, was a cameo appearance in one of the shows. And for WWE, he was backstage seeing his wife. I guess his wife is Selena Vega? I think so. No, that's, uh, that's Alistair Black's wife. Alistair Black's wife. Sorry, I forget who Keith <laughs> Lee's wife is. But she... She still works for WWE. Of course, Tiffany Stratton's... She almost cashed in last Friday. Cashed in. She, well, I think that's inevitable. <laughs> that's going to happen. She's dating Ludwig Kaiser. Yeah, I saw something about that. Yep, she's dating Ludwig Kaiser. I don't know if they're keeping it together, but the first we haven't seen on TV for a while was Indy Hartwell. Her and Dexter Loomis were supposed to be married, and they haven't really talked about being together mm -hmm. for a while. See uh, nothing about that. Uh, Johnny Gargano was married to uh, Candice Lee Ray. Yeah. And they have a son. Yes, they do. We have a kid. Speaking of sons and children, I know Alexa Bliss is on her way back. That they're trying to write something for her character. I'd like to see her go into the Wyatt Six. <laughs> She'd be an interesting person to, to go into the Y6. Another, per another person who might be interesting to go into the Y6 would be Wendy Chu. I think she'd fit right in. Wendy Chu works for NXT. But that'd be a good subject we could look more into, yeah. both of us. Wrestling people who are actually dating and not dating, I know. Ah. <laughs> uh, Cora J was was dating Braun Breaker for a while, but they broke up. I know that. Of course, Nick Aldis and uh, Mickey James. Mickey James been married. They have I think they have what three kids together? Two 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 kids. I know. Together. I know she has a son, but I don't know if they've had any more after that. I know she has children. For a fact, she does. Well, I can't believe this half hour has gone this this quickly. Um. For those who, who missed our food trucks, they'll be back again next year. I was there a couple weeks ago. It was a good time. Had a good Don't time. Call Steve on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I tried calling Steve when he was out. Well, I'd like to thank Double ACS for having us, our director for directing us. I'd like to thank you, Joe, for your input and being my co host. Until we talk again, folks, just remember I said all the kids are back at school. Drive carefully, watch out for the children walking on the streets. and. The traffic play accordingly, and we'll see you next show. Take care. Thank you.